All right, here we go, Vinny. Are you ready? Oh, boy. Don't right, do it. Right down the gullet. Don't do it. Uh, uh, I, uh, just like Resident Evil. Uh, it's oh, yeah, it is. You just need the baby with the thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm never not going to be able to see that now. <laughs> Ugh. This robot suit is full of intestines. That's, it's true. That's padding. You should get a new graphics oh. card. Uh, Guts. Uh, but, uh, hello, squad. Hey, what's up, Hi. squad? Hi. Anthem is out. It's sure for is. real. It's been out. It's everyone can agree now that Anthem is out. Yeah, there's no two ways about it. Uh, and we have it here. Uh, and Vinny, you have constructed a party. I did. I have a party. Do you want to get ready to launch into my my yeah. mission? Yeah. Let's do okay. your mission. Let's. I'm gonna slip into my intestines. Ooh. Blech. Ugh. There we go. Okay. It's roomy in here. Mm. Uh, I'm in a colossus. What are you? I'm a storm. Hmm. It says hold to start expedition. Should I hold? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Where does it say that? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it says like hold ready, Y. Ready. Like yeah, when when you're just out and about, it says on the main screen hold Y to start. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I need you guys to ready. I'm gonna up. hold that. Ready up. All right. I held the button. I'm ready. I'm Not ready. Uh, I'm ready. No, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready. Here we go. I'm ready to launch. Oh, I'm ready. I'm re I'm ready. Uh, this is Anthem. It is Anthem. This is it. This is, this is new... Anthem. I'm I'm fairly early on. Yeah. Um, somewhere between power level three and sixty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're showing. Depending on who you ask. You guys are showing in New York as power level three. Uh, Great. Somehow. <laughs> Uh, I think right. I think that uh, that's broken. Yeah, so you're showing as 132 you're to me. Is that accurate? There's a number of things about this game that I would describe mm -hmm. as uh, not entirely functional. Well, there's early access, right? Mm, no, no. no. Oh, Six, oh, it's sixty dollar video game. 80, Vinny, 80, oh, if you want it, sounds like yeah. Vinny. Vinny hit the disappearing legendary marksman rifle bug. Great. I did, but I got it back. Oh, you got it back? So, okay, that's good. Well, let's see. We'll see when I launch back in. That was a weird one. It was like a level 18. Uh, I had it, and then I went back. I had it for a mission, and I went back, and then my slot was just empty. Uh, I, mean, I think we're to... waiting on you. Yeah, I think you have to hit X. Oh, hit we're launch. Launch. Yeah. I was just kind of chatting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm kind of doing a thing. All right. That's what friends do when they squat um, up and play games. I'm 307. Yeah. That's very high. Yeah. Uh, I'm on, uh, I'm on kind of a later game mission that I thought we were gonna play, but apparently there's some, it's pretty rotten with spoilers. Yeah, Brad described it to me. There's not a lot that happens in this story, uh, and it turns out Brad's <laughs> progress is right before the one thing that happens in the story, so <laughs> um, it maybe seems like that would be a spoiler kind of thing to show. Yeah. Maybe we do at the end, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we could at least start it. And yeah. I, I assume the spoiler is, is backloaded. The like the thing that happens, I assume, is like at the end of the mission. Mm, I don't remember. I, I, to be honest, like mm. I finished this game on Monday and have spent most of the week blocking out uh, and forgetting okay. things about Anthem. Yeah. Um, so, oh look, you guys look I dumb. Just, I look cool. I, I, You're big. Uh, hey. <laughs> I like just throwing a tantrum in my chair. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I love Anthem. Oh, yeah. Anthem's great. Game of the year. I'm gonna wave at you. I'm gonna throw a flare. Oh, flares out. That flares out for him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I can't throw another flare. No, oh, there's there a cool down on the flares. Okay. Come on. I'm pretty this excited. This is more of a rave. Fuck kind you guys. Of, uh, flare. <laughs> okay. I like flying in the, this game. The flying right? is the best thing in the game. Oh, uh, let's go on our mission. Okay. Crew. Uh. Fly to the oh. fly to the thing on the thing, and then we'll shoot some people. Yep. Or activate yeah. an object Whoop. and shoot some people. Wait, did you I flew in a, a we're in the, we're tube. In tube. I went the wrong way. Another intestine. Um. Yes, that's right. It's a game. A game of intestines. I'm looking. Okay. Now I'm okay. I was not generating heat for a while there, and I was Neither looking was on the, right. the other screens, and the rest of you were. Oh wait, teleporting to mission. I'm outside of the mission boundary. Yep. Someone flew Same. five feet ahead of me. Same. <laughs> this is a very frustrating. <clears throat> that is one of the worst things about the game. Uh, I had that happen twice in close succession last night. Like I got teleported forward, and somebody had flown ahead again by the time I got there, so yep. I immediately got teleported again. Yep. I decided to try equipping a shotgun. Which I haven't uh, spent a lot of time using. No, they're, they're fine. 
I am the classic side oh, no. of this big still, shield still and I can just needed. run through people. Yeah, I haven't spent fun. much time with that. I kind of want to just wall you around and see what you do. Sure. Basically, I just run over people. Okay, that's all right. And then smash, smash things. Okay, that's, this is my thing. I fly and hover. Are you the, the, you're, oh, you're the hovering one. Yeah. Um, All right. This is the find the mission. Find a, there. find yes. a thing. Oh, you found it. Unusual design. <clears throat> it tends to happen in these, uh, <laughs> in these story missions with pickup groups who you're not talking to on mic. People just do stuff and occasionally that just pushes yeah. the story forward without you knowing what happened. Yep. Uh, that's the, the, I did not remember what this mission was until right here. And I was like, oh, right. I flew in and there were people doing this already. And then it just kind of ended. That Schaefer object so you guys have like a roll, right? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, or a dodge or something? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, most, most of the classes have like a, a, a dodge of sorts. And my Colossus, oh. what, raises your shield instead? Yeah, I've got the shield and then okay. I, I got the, the bash with the shield. Okay. Instead of a um, dodge. Yeah, I can like sw swing the And I guess you can pull the shield out when you're reviving people, which sounds... Uh, that sounds oh, that's convenient. Like a thing you could do. Sounds uh, alright. Right. Okay, here's a here. We need to fly around and get one, balls. <laughs> one weird thing you might not have known about Anthem, uh -huh. uh, it makes you, it makes you pick your your javelin, your class, without being able to try out any of the other classes. Then yeah. kind of locks you into it. Yeah. What is the thing in the forge where you can hit Y to look at other javelins? Uh, like that's if you because you you unlock the other ones as you level up. Yeah. Once you so have that's one. like you switching from one to the other. Oh, okay, gotcha. Ugh. Um, another thing they don't tell you is that <clears throat> if you have the expensive edition of the game, only the ranger gets a legendary ability at the beginning. Yeah. yeah so uh, if you don't if you don't play, pick ranger first, you're kind of missing out on some of the extras you paid money for. Which yeah, that was weird. A strange choice. I ended up picking the ranger first because I, you know, knew that I didn't know a lot of other people that were going to be playing the game, and figured like, well, the the one that seems in the middle, offense and defense, seems like the the solo class. Uh, and it's, I, I, but also like now that I've unlocked three of them, I don't think the differences between the javelins, other than the colossus, which is the one I haven't gotten. I don't think they're that meaningful. Plaza seems to be the most different. Yeah, it's like <clears> they, they have their own abilities and stuff like that, but it's just varieties of just like, hey, you're gonna shoot a blast at a thing. Yeah, my, and mine, is that blast ice? Maybe. Yeah, mine mine is kind of the elemental spellcaster type. Yeah, um, and uh, yeah, so, you, I, so I played as that one, the storm, uh, a fair amount also, and it didn't feel meaningfully different. Yeah, I mean, you know, it can hover longer than the others, which yeah. is good at first, but then when you get into later oh, missions, cool. especially if you're playing on hard where stuff can just kind of like one or two shot you, Yeah. flying above all the cover is not a good idea. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I just kind of had to stop doing the thing when I've played on hard that this thing is known for. Right, uh, yeah, hovering seems like it, there, there's an enemy with a shield and hovering above the shield is a very convenient way to take that thing out, but other than that, I didn't find hovering to be useful. It's uh, it, it's it's a little easier to aim like AOE spells that have a bubble, but I don't, I don't have one of those equipped right now. Mm -hmm. Where are the rest of the balls? I'm just kind of um, flying, I have a ball. Flying aimlessly, I should pay attention there's to. There's a there's a like named enemy guy here. Oh, these are pretty far I mean. flung, aren't they? Yeah. I'm gonna fly into this pond and cool myself off. Also, when we did the first video with this game and did the waterfall and the cooling and stuff like that, I remember thinking, well, I wonder what'll happen when you get to a whole new area and it doesn't have that. And it turns out there is no whole new area. This is the entire game. Like, there are areas that look different than this, but yeah. it's... It's all kind of one big zone. I, yeah, I wish there was a little more distinctiveness between the different areas here. Like everything just kind of looks like variations on the same jungle. Yeah, I was under, you know, I thought that this game was going to have like, hey, okay, you finished that zone, now go to the other one and there will be a bunch of these, but it's super not that game. Yeah, the map is the map. Yeah. I, that I do wish that was sh that was a little shocking to I me. Find it, I, I find it hard to learn my way around this world just because everything does sort of look well, it's a lot of canyons and, like, tight, weird tunnels that get yeah. you places. Like, there are areas uh, that, yeah, there are not the easiest to find, even if you're being led to them, you know? 
Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's not a that's thing. A big, that's a big mech. Hello. I really like this big dumb mech. Yeah, I can see it. You need a, you need a paint job. I took all the paint off. <laughs> Just stripped down. I, none of the paint looked good to me. Uh, like, you can, I, I, you know, I will give them credit. I think the, the paint, all the paint stuff is really elaborate. I, being able to choose materials. Look, yeah, all the material stuff is neat, and just being able to paint all the different aspects of the mech different colors is... Excuse me, the javelin. Uh, I, I, all the colors kind of look the same to me. May I have to unlock more or something? Uh, like, no, I mean, they've got a color wheel. You can do custom colors. Oh, okay. I didn't, so you can I mean, straight I didn't up, see that. You can straight up RGB it. Uh, I mean, I missed that. There's like, you know, there's vinyls. Like, yeah, there's different, like, it's leather and hard plastic and metal and stuff. Like, the... I'm, I mostly am praising their cosmetic stuff because, like, Destiny got so shitty about it. Hmm. Uh, we still need four balls. Yeah, I'm just kind of... I got a ball. Bring it back. I got one ball. Need more. My radar... Yeah, my, my uh, maybe radar maybe everybody picked up all the balls. I was just kind of flying yeah. around and rambling. Uh, Vinny's got two balls. Okay, ah, there's there. still one more ball around? Because I don't have any balls? No, I have one. Oh, you have one. Okay, then we have them all. All right. It says, it says you've only got nine of twelve, though. Yeah, that's, we that have means to, we delivered. Have you have in. to drop them off. Oh, I see. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can fly with the shield out, which is kind of neat. Yeah. I wish you could shoot while you were flying. Yeah, yeah that would be cool. Me too. Uh, you can, you can yeah. use your ult, or at least the ranger can, which is like the only chance you get it like, hey, I'm gonna dive bomb a target and do a thing that is fun. I kill these digesters. I've never seen these before. Some kind of That smart ability takes mode. a long time to recharge. I was going to try to pull off combo here. Let's combo. What are you gonna do? Oh, I don't you know if the him? abilities I have actually can combo right now. No. The game really does not go out of its way to explain the combo system. What is it? Uh, I mean, some abilities basically set up combos and other abilities trigger them. It's kind of like, it's like Mass Effect. It's, yeah, it's but very, not as elaborate or, like, it just feels like a bad version of the Mass Effect ability system. Well, there's, there's, I think there's more to it than the game actually tells you. Because there are different types of combos, but I still don't know what the difference between, like, an impact combo, or a chain combo, or an aura combo. Well, some of that stuff, uh, like, some of that stuff is, is class specific. Oh, maybe uh, that's so. Like the, I think the storm is the one that does aura combos. Huh. I mostly have chain combos from what I've seen. Uh, mine have all been on the ranger. They're pretty much all impact combo. Okay, that makes more sense. But see, I had no idea about that. Yeah, like and, and the impact combo stuff is generally, or you know, the combo system is generally like, hey, do a thing that confers a status effect on an enemy, yeah. like shock it or whatever, yeah. and then hit it with another one right. that is a, that detonates that effect yeah. or whatever. So. It's it's kind of like Dragon Age as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. easy enough to get the basics of. I just, I would like more detail on the specifics because I would like to play around with it. Yeah. Uh, I don't think, like, the combat, like, the guns are adequate but not super punchy in this game. The enemy AI is pretty basic. Yeah. Like, I need something to add depth to the combat. And the one thing they have, I feel like I can get the information I want. Uh, yeah, and I feel like the, as I learned more and more about the combo system, it, the thing I eventually determined was that it just didn't have enough depth to, to lend that. Yeah, on, on normal, the game is pretty easy from what I've seen. On hard, it's not much harder. All right, now what do we got to go look at a thing? Smash it. Yeah. Very strange energy. No, read it. Smash it. So runes, what are they? Secret writing, a technique lost and forgotten. I think the key of my work was right in front of me. Uh oh. You got it? I did. Oh dear, the energy is starting to fluctuate. Does that mean hurry? Yes. That should be enough. But I think I know how to find more of these rooms. You think they'll help? Yes. And they've put out a series of patches over the last week. Yeah. Or I guess uh, two... Two patches? Well, there was one download patch and like some server-side stuff that they fixed. Yeah. Did um, they change the big uh, challenge thing that everyone was complaining about? They've supposedly made it easier. I believe they are tracking your progress on those from the beginning of the game now, as opposed to only after you get them. Yeah, uh, they described okay. it as like two problems. One, that it wasn't tracking the right way, and then also the requirements changed. Uh, gotcha. But I don't, I don't, I, I had already done that stuff yeah. by the time they I fixed it. I so. had to do it all from scratch because I did it, I started doing it pre-patch.
Um, yeah, the, the story, like, that, that story mission, I feel, is, like, really indicative of most story missions. Yeah. As you kind of just go there, do a thing, collect some balls, or... or shoot people until the objective is complete and, and just kind of get out. It's... Yeah. Pretty, pretty basic mission design. Yeah. For the most part. There's kind of three or four major activities, and they just kind of mix and match them for the most part. Yeah. And it seems like, now, so I've finished the game, yeah. and, and now it seems like that there will be more contracts, and I just picked up a contract before we started recording this that sounded like, like the, the all the mission description was like, oh, I'll have a lot of contracts for you, and then the, the thing just says, go do contract, huh. which sounds like just generated generic missions. Uh, I would believe I that. To, I went to the launch bay. <laughs> I unlocked a new component. So, oh, I should have gone to the launch bay. How do I get there? I went to the launch. Uh, the you launch can walk. Bay? It's to the right of the 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 Crap. place where you go out on missions. I the launch bay seems weird. I should, Why, I'm, I'm going to come to the launch bay. Let's see what that is. The but launch I, bay. No, I know what it is, but I want to see it in action. The launch bay seems like a place to go when you've finished with the story and only have contracts left to do, uh, because um, you can't go talk to any of the story people from here. Um, is it just? Uh, what, why would you go? Because you could do all the same stuff at Fort Tarsus, can't you? Yeah, but it's like the slow walk speed in the fort sucks, oh. and so oh, so it's just all a, right here. Also, this the the look they added a second speed now. Yeah, it's slightly faster. No, that it's yeah, emphasis on slightly. Yeah, uh, and also the hangar is like kind of a multiplayer area. You will see other players there, but even though we were in it's a. True. Even though we were in, we are still in a group. I don't think I'm. I'm not in your instance. Huh. Oh. So, oh wow. So it I, doesn't even bring parties. Yeah. To the I same. just. I just walked up to the launch bay door in Fort Tarsus, and it said launch bay matchmaking in progress. Yeah. Even though I'm in a party uh -oh. with you guys. Yeah. That's not great. That's not uh, fun. Let's get in there and see. And like the see. most prominently featured thing in the hangar is the item shop. The hey, maybe pay us some money. For some of this cosmetic stuff, have you have you noticed that the, the character who represents the four money store chimes in quite a bit? Oh yeah, when you are <laughs> when you're dressing up your suit. Oh yeah, he likes to remind uh, you that he's there. Uh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, uh, should I'm, I go? Should I go pick up a, another mission? Uh, see what you got. Yeah, yeah. I'm in sure. the launch bay with people who are not you. I'm gonna equip. Yeah. What did I get? I got. I like a cape. Oh, you can't fly in here, huh? I got another level 29 shotgun. I don't quite understand the, like, A button and the L, uh, left, uh, L3. Like, the flying. So is there, like, a double jump? I feel like I jump and I it press depends, it again, I kind of do this hover. It depends on the class. Right, oh, you're, right you're, stick will hover. You're the storm? Yeah. Uh, the storm does not have a double jump. It's more of, like, a glide. Like, hold the button okay. in and kind of glide and descend slowly. But going in and uh, out of actual flight is just L3, right? Uh, just yeah, hit just click the left stick when you're in midair, and then okay. uh, and then yeah, hit R3 or uh, left trigger to go into hover mode. Oh, R3 that's can do that too. Okay, that's a cool no, it, so it, it's a different thing. Hover is different from fly. Basically, aim. Basically, right, right, basically, yeah. if I LT while I'm up there, I, I hover for yes. a while. Yes. Oh, right. Yes. That's yeah. a that's a cool looking suit. You can that you can make cool some you can suit. make some nice designs with that thing. I I think. Uh, what do you guys think of the narrative so far? Uh, or I guess Jeff, you finished it. So I did. What did you yeah. think of the narrative? I don't think it's. I I, I don't think it's very good. It, it's uh, the like the final confrontation is really underwhelming. The the most of the missions along the way are really lifeless and don't really contribute to the overall kind of like main narrative. But also a lot of the side story stuff or side characters don't really have interesting stories of their own. It's more like, oh, you're helping us out. Great. You're really helping yeah, us. Yes. Awesome. You're really helping us. Most, most of the side missions are like, hey, the bug people have set up another outpost near the city. Go yeah. kill them. And so all of the like quirky characters are people that you don't even do missions for. It's like, this is a janitor in the city, and you talk to him, and he's like, I want to make a bunch of rules. And then God. you listen to him and maybe choose a dialogue option, but it's all pretty meaningless. That guy does not work for me. Oh. Uh, the, the chronicler lady, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. I, I kind of like her. Uh, she's, she's very prim. Yeah, I don't know. There were like two characters that were in the town that I thought were were, were all right, or two little story threads. But it, like none of it is gameplay. It's just every time you leave the fort and come back, you hear the next chapter. Like it's it's ironic that like everyone in this world is way into radio plays because 
all of these things feel like you're just watching some radio play unfold or, or listening to it happen. You know, it's like someone tells you a thing, you leave and come back, they tell you more. <laughs> And none of it ever translates into, now go out and shoot, you know, like, here's a story mission for you. It's just you're listening to them talk for the sake of, hey, we had to fill this area out. And it's just, this is a really bizarre video game. It is kind of. It feels very cobbled together. Uh, like, it doesn't feel like, like, it doesn't trade off of the storytelling chops that the studio is known for in a meaningful way, and the gameplay is really repetitive. Like, it's, it doesn't do any one thing well at all, other than I think the suits look kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, I do this, think the suits, the suits right, look nice. Decent art. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a good-looking game. The flight has potential, depending on how they build this game out, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on most aspects of the game. Um, um, are we ready to do another thing? Uh, yeah, I think your, so. Yeah. What's your next? I was. Uh, uh, in my next, uh, I'm definitely just not checking out paint colors. Um, uh, <laughs> hold on. I wonder if I can just pop in here and see what your next mission is. I bet I can. It was for the Bryn. And it was for Bryn, and she <clears throat> we had a very awkward conversation with her. Yeah. And now it is investigate the scar presence at the Arcanist yeah. base. Yeah, exactly. Like her, her, her side missions are perfect. A perfect example of just how. Sort of lacking in personality, a lot of the side content is. Oh, okay. also, you have this set to easy. Okay, no, not anymore. Okay. Uh, Never. Yeah, that, that mission is it? pretty bland, but we can if you want to. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what I got for you? I got, what if I put it on hard? Go for it. Huh? Let's give it sure. a shot. All right. Sure. Do it. Okay. Like, like I wonder how it merges the, the power levels together, because we're pretty far apart, and I wonder if it's just kind mm. of... Equalizes Averaging. it because uh, I, I felt know. like as long as I was using the current gear that I had it basically I you know like I, I one shot melee killed mm -hmm. most enemies through the entire game uh, On normal. I don't and think it I don't think it normalizes that stuff because I I had to play tyrant mine multiple times on hard to get all the revives I needed for those challenges because it was the only place I could find where people actually died yeah. Uh, but I was, I ended up with a bunch of like kind of close to max level people in there and it was tough. I was getting mm. like one shot was taking my entire shields down for oh. full. Huh. So I don't know if it adjusts to the higher level players in the group. Yeah. If that's the case, then these guys are just going to get totally smoked right now, right? Oh, please. I'm a professional I mean, gamist. If it, what I mean, if it's balanced as hard for, I guess, Jeff, if he's the highest level. As opposed to balance for each player? I don't know, we'll find out. Yeah, it's cool, look at this cool robot suit. Hmm. Maybe it's balanced against the party leader. Rawr. Rawr. That is pretty good. Wee. I give that one flare. Will do. Uh, since this is our first mission, maybe we should talk, get to know each other? No, let's not. I'll let you know when you're close to the base. Alright. The uh, male character voice seems really shitty. <laughs> ah, you know, he's a video game guy. I thought the lady was all right. Yeah, everybody sounds like they're having like a bad Skype call in terms of like the way they interact with each other. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, like there's always like a uh, half yeah. second too oh. long or too yeah. short. Yeah. No, you go. Uh, I'm done. Well, so the other I thing I kind of decided or, or the, the realization I had is that like a lot of the dialogue in like cutscenes and stuff or when characters are talking to you, especially early on, comes off like a Sega CD game. Like it's, it feels like an FMV game. I love it. Like they're just acting, they're overacting directly into camera uh, yes. in a way that I don't think is very good. <laughs> it's definitely like a, inside that town, it's like a quirky festival. Who's yeah. the quirkiest character? Oh! <laughs> I, do, I do enjoy this character. The heavy guy? Oh, I am dead. Yeah. Okay. Too bad you yeah. don't have the tomb challenges unlocked. You could be racking up revive progress. Ooh. I'll come try and revive you as soon as I Too late. Already did. Guy, but... Sorry. Oh, thank you. So you get, you unlocked uh, like four slots for new javelins. Like all the I need to hit level twenty six to get the fourth one. Yeah, so the one that, the one that you have is the only one I don't have. Uh, I have okay. a, I'm, I'm in trouble. You you pick as you go. Yeah.
I'm coming for you, bud. Are there enemy attacks that can just instantly overheat you? Yes. Okay. I thought there the were. The fire definitely does. Yeah, yeah. You'll get hit with fire and get knocked out of the air immediately, which, yeah, for a storm, like if you if you are playing that kind of hover thing, like that is also less than ideal. I keep doing my combo backwards because they... I think like these enemies with the shield are the only ones I felt like, oh, hovering is really useful here. Uh, that was the only time yeah. that, that ever felt like a, like I was doing better in this fight because I hovered. There it is. Smash him. I'm gonna smash him. Oh, I smashed him. Loot. Also, loot uh, is like the color coding on the loot is tired tied to like your basically your player or gear level. So like as oh, soon yeah? as you, yeah, so like now that I'm a rare ranger, I'm getting mostly rares and some epic drops. Hmm. And instead of like it being like a truly random like oh you got a percent chance to get an epic item at a low level, like yeah. th those just don't exist. <clears throat> yeah, you it's, should. It's like a, it's it's like a really. It seems like a really terrible way to do a loot game. You should you should occasionally get a blue at like level two. Right. Like once in a while. Like you should well, but also none of those rare items are that interesting because it just adds like one more bonus. Uh, like oh, so this one's got three bonuses because it's epic instead of two because it's rare, and usually the bonuses don't feel like it makes a huge difference. Uh, so just yeah, I just feel like all these systems don't serve each other very well, right? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. it just it feels like. Ideas that if they were synthesized more effectively, you'd have something. But yeah. it, it just all feels like nine different games crammed together and none of it's very much fun. Uh, I, I really wonder what kind of resources EA is going to give Bioware to continue working on this game. Probably depends on how well it does out of the gate yeah. sales-wise, right? I mean, they've I mean, committed to this big, like, almost... I don't know if it's year-long, but it's a multi-month kind of narrative roadmap of content that's right. supposed to come out. I mean, there's tons of precedent, like practically every big loot game of the last like six, seven years has had this rocky launch with a bunch of post-release fixes, right? So it's not like unheard of for a game like this to get better. Totally, but I guess like where I feel like this game's different is I feel like most of those other games or many of those other games were better. Or, or like the core of them from a gameplay perspective was like here's here's a fun loop of things to do. Yeah. And I don't feel like they've built that here. Uh, I in terms of enemy variety and AI. Yeah. And like the AI is really bad. Yes. The, the objectives are bad. Like yeah. you know, there's there's a lot of overhaul work they could do to get there. But I feel like some of it is so fundamental that I think it'll be hard. That's, that's definitely true. I mean, uh, you know, again, the the flight and the combo stuff are the most unique things this game has going on. Yeah, and, and, and find a way to emphasize that stuff better. Yeah, and, and, and I, I just you know, I think the combo stuff was better to, was done better in Mass Effect. I think the multiplayer in those Mass Effect games was more fun than this. Mass Effect's a great game. Mass Effect Three multiplayer is a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just a, such a bizarre thing. Like I'm, I'm always down for like. Hey, sci-fi, loot game, shooter, like all that other stuff. I'm like, yeah, cool, yeah, let's so go. This is but super this, in my wheelhouse as well. This did nothing for me, start to finish, man. Other than, like, once I got beyond, beyond like, hey, I think these suits look neat. I just you question why they, um, why that distance, the the string on the you're out of the mission zone stuff is so short. It's weird because, because they, in the, the day one patch was supposed to improve that, but I really don't feel like there's a difference. Oh, oh, I didn't know that was supposed to be improved. Yeah, it feels like, you know, considering the flight speed and everything like that, the differences in yes. speed you can have. Especially yeah. when you're playing with random people and nobody's talking and somebody just, like, flies straight to the objective as fast as they can. Well, I think the thing they improved yeah. was that, like, if you had a faster hard drive and a faster system, you were loading in faster, yeah. and that was create, um, that was exacerbating that problem because you were flying away by the time the other players uh, spawned. That's interesting. And so I think they tried to fix that and not necessarily the size of the areas. I might be wrong. I thought one of the fixes said they had relaxed the like the the range of that stuff. Okay. Yeah. But well, it's weird because you know when you get into free play, it's four players anywhere on the map. So like the game can yeah. technically do that. Yes. Uh, yeah. Right. It should just give like I feel like it should almost just give you the option like, hey, do you want to warp to the team? Right. And be like, oh, yeah, okay, I want to be part of my team. I want to 
Don't want to miss the battle. Yeah, and it's weird like how much latency there's been and just like network hitches and stuff for a game that ultimately is a four-player video game. Yeah. This, this this only happened to me once so far, but in the Tyrant Mine yesterday, my gun was lagging. Like the fire yeah. the fire rate of my gun was not consistent. I would I was constantly freezing up and then having it roll back to me being like ten like to where I was standing ten seconds ago, but suddenly I took a lot more damage during a, like a lag spike. And you know, whatever, games are gonna have network issues and all yeah. that other stuff, but it's like, again, it's it's a four player game. They did the Mass Effect multiplayer, and it was fine in that sense. This doesn't seem necessarily grander in scope than that in a in a in a too much way. I, I, it's just it's a bizarre. The problems this game has are bizarre. Because you're looking at it like, I I don't I don't know enough about game development <laughs> at the end of the day to say with certainty, but it just seems like this stuff is, we it's weird, the stuff that's broken, I guess, is yeah. what I'm trying to say. You know what I like, though? I, the suits have, at least this one, it has a really good sense of weight. Like, when mm. it crashes down, when it, when it runs, it's a lot of thumping. Yeah. yeah, yeah like like the, it feels the, like a very heavy suit. The movement is definitely the thing it feels like they got the best, or got, got yeah, down like the most. Because, like, you, uh, can, you can zip around the battlefield really quickly. Like, it's, it's genuinely cool, like, popping in and out of flight. That just feels this good. shotgun is really cool. The one where you can like hold it in and, and narrow it in. Have you guys gotten that before? No. Uh, no. Oh, uh, like, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's like as you're aiming the shotgun, if you hold in the fire button, right. it reduces the spread and the reticle and everything. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. So who can freeze people? What class is that? I uh, think I one? can. Yeah. I want to see if I can smash him with my shield. That's probably a combo. Ah. Uh. I'm down. Oh, where are you? I'm, I'm gonna come. Right. Oh boy, there's a big guy here. I'll cover you. Okay, cover I'm me. Popping my ult. Oh, killing a bunch I'm of stuck on a thing. I'm flying. There we go, Dan. All right. Let me get rid of this guy. Oh boy, there's a. You, should I just hold X to respond? I can no, do that. I'll repair you. All right. Thank you. You yeah, big dumb robot. <laughs> I'm weak. Ooh, I'm an old. That's a lot of dudes. Hey, buddy. <laughs> this guy's just hanging out here, shaking hands with Oh, you killed everybody! Jesus. Oh, God, there's a lot. I like the storm ult. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh, I'm down again. Uh, there's nothing ult, though. Oh, there's some stuff. I feel like the ultimate I have right now... You can change Thank out you. ults, I assume, at some point? Uh, no. no, it's one per class. Okay. I feel like my ult here is fairly useless only because it basically draws aggro and with you guys being such higher level it seems like oh, a very bad right. idea. Yeah. Ah, what could go wrong? I'll try it. Here we go. Come kill me. Oh boy. Ah, that guy's shooting you. Are you doing it? Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Ah, I've got a big shield out, so I'll smash him a lot. While he's doing that, I'm shooting him a bunch and hitting him with all my stuff. <laughs> I got to punch him off a cliff. I'm having a good time just throwing a tantrum on him. I mean, for, for better or worse, like, playing this with you guys is probably the most fun I've had with this game so far. <laughs> so, like, I feel like there is a path forward for this game, but mm. it's going to take a lot. I, I think, like, that comes down to, like, that time spent thing of just, like, yes, playing games with friends is fun. Well, sure. But what I mean, if you were playing a better one with your friends... Well, that's what I mean. Like, they need to develop, like... Mission objectives and challenges and enemy yeah. mechanics. Right. A ton of stuff that caters to playing it in a group and coordinating and and yeah, like the loot tables uh, need to be more robust. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. They take away your flight ability a lot. Uh, they, not a they lot. Did a couple of missions. Okay. It's yeah. They, they kind there's of there's some late game stuff where you're like smashing up flight suppression units and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. I did one of those, and I, I got a little worried they constantly do it every time we went in the cave. Yeah, it's not constant. Uh... Oh boy, here we go. This is it, for real. One of those no respawn zones. Oh, big robot. Another big robot. 
I feel like stuff like just stuff like the weak points on a lot of the enemies are, are pretty ill-defined. Like kind of hard to see where some of those are if it's not just the head. Like the uh, like shield guys have their like tanks right, or whatever. Right, it's the tank on the back. Lights on up when you shoot them. But like I just like a lot of the enemies at a distance. There's not a lot of detail to pick out. They're like, yeah, yeah. The colors are pretty flat. Like they, they blend into the background in a lot of cases. Like it's yeah, I do. The I combat do is not as readable. I feel like as as some other games in the genre. Oh boy, I need I need health badly. There's some. Oh boy, look at this big guy right next to Dan. Oh. Oh, hello. Smashed him in the back for you. Uh, this bubble I'm putting down uh, makes you do more damage while you're inside it. Cool. Okay. I love bubbles. Dead. All I'm right. the only big one with the shield now. Uh, this is a this is a common mission objective, Vinny. Like this relic delivery thing, where you can't fly while you're holding relics. Oh, and it okay, says okay. you can push down to drop the relic or drop whatever you're holding, but that makes it respawn back where it started. Oh, it does oh, not no, drop no. at your feet. Ooh. Learn that the hard Wait, way. What? <laughs> oh, you can't. Can you pass it like a basketball? Nope. Like, you know, like in, oh, that'd be fun. No, I, I got to a place where it's like, hey, drop that here, and I was like, okay, drop. Push down on the D-pad. It's like, no, it wanted me to walk up and hit X on the spot, <laughs> not I get to fly all the way back. <laughs> I was like, oh god, this. That is, that's not good. No. We did it. Yay. Are those tiny, uh, glowing, uh, like, white things? Is that loot? And the, the loots are diamonds. Yeah, the little diamond-shaped thing. You can see them through yeah, the walls. Yeah, that's the loot? Yeah. Okay, guys. I haven't been able to figure out yet if you fail to pick those up, like, do they get teleported back with you, or... That's what I'm wondering, yeah. Do you just not get the loot? Because I feel like they're not as noticeable when they pop out as they could be. Right. Yeah, they're very yeah. tiny. It's not like the Destiny Ingrams. Yeah, just maybe a little more fanfare when one drops would be nice. Yeah. To make sure you don't miss it. I wish you could change equipment mid-mission. Yes. Oh, dude. Like that's, yeah. that's yes, that is like bizarre. That is probably right at the top of the list of the list of things that need to change with this game. Especially like if you want to mess around with the combo stuff, like you can't mix and match stuff and test it because you have to load back into town to change a single ability out. It's just crazy. Yeah. If we're talking about things, I wish. I wish when you went to the forge to look at your abilities, it had one of those little videos in a little window that showed yeah. you what it did. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because stuff like that would be man, useful. Man, the, the descriptions are not super great. I need to get a new emote. How much do those cost? Hmm. That's a good question. I saw they had the um, N7 yeah. uh, vinyl. Oh. Which, Mm -hmm. Level 18 component, you say. Did you want to try uh, your your high level uh, like the doodattery? Tyrant mine? Yeah. I guess we could pop in there. Just run See on normal I'm, or something? Yeah. I'm, I'm curious if I can come into it or if I'll be locked out. So something we discovered in the course of setting up this video is that you can't change the party leader once the party is formed. <laughs> As far as we can uh, tell. Me, I, I will go in there and check one let's more double, time. Let's double check because that does seem a little bit yeah. crazy to me. All right. I am in the social menu. I am in the squad menu. I am going to you. I am looking at the options here. Uh, mute, ignore, remove from squad. Well, that's about it. Remove from favorites. Unless there is something else I'm missing. Well, I think I've done my research. Okay. <laughs> Well, now you do, you do yours. I'm kicking you from my squad. Okay, bye. Bye. I said I good day. <laughs> I eliminated you. Now make a squad and invite me. Okay. Let me load back into town first. Okay. 
Hmm. Yeah, like a lot of the crafting blueprints are locked behind. Yeah. Uh, you have to grind faction rep yes. in a way that's like like, like a frustrating way it's to a, go about it. It's a bummer that crafting recipes don't just like drop off of enemies or something. Yeah. Anything other than, let's see, I'm trying to remember. There's a lot of menus in this game. I'm trying to remember where they where do they track that. Is it under it's challenges? challenges where the faction rep yes. stuff is listed and right. it'll show you. Like I still... I, <sighs> Like, I need to fill level three to get, like, the epic stuff. So, basically, right. I can't make anything useful anymore. Also, they don't really tell you here what the activities are that will give you rep with a specific faction. Do oh, they tell yeah. you that anywhere? Um, like, I, I figured it out just by playing. Like, I think Arcanist is, like, talk to people and I think collectibles. Depends on who you're talking to. Like, you'll get, uh, I'll, you'll get Sentinel from talking to Sentinels. Oh, oh okay. You know, like, there, there's stuff like that. Uh, uh, like, doing stuff out in the world gets you rep, but they... I, I yeah, like, sometimes, har like, harvesting minerals will get you rep out like of nowhere. A, just a fat list of, like, here's the things you could go do to grind rep would be uh, pretty useful. How do I use a support seal? I just got a wind wall. Uh, you may not have unlocked it. It's, you do it, equip it in the forge just like anything else, but you may not, yeah, have, you may not have unlocked that slot yet. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I was able to equip it. I just don't know, like, what... Is that a passive ability? It no, sounds like the it's wind, wind wall is an active down. one. That's like, I think that's when you hit both bumpers to activate. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, no. Are you guys seeing invites? Yes, but I have to go. You have to get up oh, to do it. Wow. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, you have to push that's Y. That's really dumb. <laughs> Yeah, I had to do that as well. That's, uh, I mean, I guess that's Stupid. more of, that's more of Origin's fault than Anthem's. If that's how it handles accepting, uh, yeah. This regulator store is on fire. Yeah. I don't know if I should buy anything out of there. You, I have never, like, I have so many crafting yeah, materials. Yeah, I, I can't craft because anything. You, yeah, I have the recipes. You need, you need the blueprints. I yeah, have the recipes. It's ridiculous. You can spend real uh, money to get those items if you want to. It's... I do note that they uh, put the cosmetic for real money store here in the crafting materials store <laughs> in addition to the actual vanity store. Do you know how this works if, like, let's say I was super early on and so I'm doing these missions now. If I went back and played solo, would these missions show as complete or would I have to do it again? I you know? believe you'd have to do them again. I bet you have to do them again. But don't quote yeah, me. Yeah, that makes sense. That's that's my guess, but, but yeah. Mm, I'm just having second thoughts about it. My tertiary hard. Uh oh. What? Yeah. Mm hmm. Strip it down to bare metal. You know, I was at bare metal for a while, but. Mm -hmm. Old primary hard's easy. Old tertiary hard, that's what they called him. <laughs> Quaternary hard. Primary soft. Well, what you... should I be doing other than the forge? Like walking around this town when you come back. Like, are there things I should be doing? Uh, just talk are... to characters. Yeah, there are people to talk to. There, there are side missions, just and contracts. Push to pick start up. and look at the map, and it'll show you who is talkable. Okay. Though sometimes it's, get... sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes icons didn't appear on the map, and people were talkable when I got up close to them and, uh, gave, me, and gave me missions, which is frustrating. The the uh, right. the in-game compass that shows an icon when somebody has a conversation doesn't show up unless you were standing like five feet in front of them. Yeah, so, so you, you have to. You can't oh. really. You have to go to the map to see who. Yeah, but, but like I said, sometimes it didn't show on the map, but I walked yeah. up to them and they then they actually did have something. Yes, that's a bug, oh, wow. I guess. Did you guys get any new landing animations? Uh, I don't think I've gotten anything. I'm, that stuff mm. basically is, I think, what they want to charge you money for. Well, I earned enough credits to buy like one of the items in like the, the some epic armor in the store, and then mm. also one set of parts that were not sold as a set by the time I finished. Okay. And so I bought everything you could buy basically for the ranger class. They have, uh, I believe, it's, it sounds like they're adding a thing. I don't think it's in the game yet, but they're going to add like a guaranteed drop of vanity items after you beat a stronghold boss. Oh, okay. So there is a way to like grind out uh, some cosmetic mm -hmm. stuff if you want to. I painted my mech. Uh, I'm looking forward to unlocking a second stronghold so I don't have to keep doing the first one over and over. Uh, the, uh, so there are three strongholds in the whole game. The other two don't unlock until you beat the story. Oh, what? And then when you beat the story, the other two pop. One of them is you rerunning the last mission again, from the looks, oh. from the sounds of it. Okay. Uh, and I don't know, I don't know what the other one is. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, uh, upon finishing the game and like getting back into it, it pops up and says, "You've unlocked these two strongholds." And I'm like, "Oh, cool." Like to be fair, this stronghold mission in and of itself is not bad. But I kind of wish that was like the baseline quality of all the missions in the game. Or something closer to it. Sure. Instead of the kind of cut and paste mission objective thing they have going on in the open world. 
Do you have the stronghold selected? It just says select expedition mission. Oh, did you me. guys? Did you guys all join? Yeah, we yeah, are rolling. I'm ready. Are we on easy? Uh, yeah, I'll, it's, I'll, it's set to easy right I'll now. I'll set it up. Let me just jump down the intestines. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah. I probably should have looked at my loot. You should be able to look at your loot in this menu, like your your weapons. You know, like. Uh, like Sorry, that's behind like, a loading screen. <laughs> yeah. At least you'd be able to. Like, I wouldn't do hard for this for them. Yeah. There's a forge there, if you why. Uh, I think it would load out, wouldn't it? It might pull yeah. you out of. Yeah, you probably couldn't be readied from there. Maybe, maybe you could. I know. I didn't want to hit it because I thought maybe it'd load me into the um, the whole other thing. I think that's what it does. I think it, it, like hitting that takes you to the loading screen and takes you into the forge. Like I, uh, I, I appreciate that Destiny basically all of that stuff feels like an overlay. You know, yeah, like right. it just comes on top of the game. Yeah. And you're like okay. Yeah, like you well, can I'm in a loading menu. You can screw around with your gear loadout while you're in a loading screen. Doing kind of anything it yeah. feels like. Yeah. Siege actually has a, a similar issue of like change. Did you notice that Dan? Like going through your loadout is like. You got like five seconds to do it. Uh, you can matches. set it at the main menu beforehand if you want beforehand, to. Beforehand, but once you're in matches, totally, yeah. It's like you get the ready up time, and that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Call of Duty is like that way too. Like if you're unlocking new stuff in a Call of Duty game, you have like you know, twenty seconds or whatever to get through it. Check out my new Mac. Whoa! Huh? Wait, hang on. Let's huh? see. What's going on you like over that here? Color? Huh? Oh. It's like I put the soft parts all white, like a yeah. jumpsuit, and then yeah. like the metal parts yeah. all black. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Mm. Mm. What does this wind wall do? Uh, it's a shield. It basically blocks projectiles. Uh, Can we shoot through it? I think so. I, think so. I forget what I have cool. equipped right now. I think mine's also the wind wall. Oh, I smashed into a rock. So this is the strike? Yeah, but it's the okay, yeah, the equivalent of a destiny strike basically. Silence the relic. Got it, no this problem. Oh boy. Probably these not guys a good hard. weapon. These are not good weapons for this mission. I have a shotgun and a pistol. But like I feel like the encounters in this mission are at a greater distance than that. I'll just swap them out. Oh yeah, I'll just uh let's quit and start over so I can swap them out. Yeah. Look at this fool. Oh, uh, there's that turret up there. Yeah. The turret should be dead, right? Oh, there's, there's another one up ahead. I like that uh, when you run over ammo, is some of it is fed directly into the gun. So oh. if you go for pickups that way, you reload less frequently. Huh. I didn't know oh, that. That's cool. That's actually yeah, cool. Whoa. I'm gonna shoot a thing at the turret. Ow. Come on, ult. It's doing it again. Gear cannot be used while on cooldown, even though I appear to have an ult. Uh, there's okay. So the ult is the ult meter is broken. Is that okay? And often shows full at the start of a mission. Ah, uh -huh. that would explain a number of encounters that I've had in this game. Yes. <laughs> huh. Okay. Like that. Ah, oh man, that's just that's the type of stuff we're talking about, right? I mean, I. I've, that stuff sucks, but that stuff sounds like perfectly fixable. Oh yeah, it is and fixable. They'll get but there, it's just, but it's it's just for, for me, like the issues are way larger. Of course, of course, <laughs> but it's just it's just illustrative. Yeah, of such basic functionality not working oh, at launch. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, Your ultimate it, ability. I mean, it is core gameplay. <laughs> right. I, I think there are there are issues with this game, big and small. Yeah. I mean, there are things I enjoy about this game. I would like to see it get better because I would. Yeah, a sci-fi loot game again. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. More, more um, interesting, more interesting stories and like just a lot of refinements across all the loot and combat stuff. Uh, I would totally come back later in the year to play a better version of this game. I feel like at this point it would take someone coming to me and saying like, "No, dude, 
it's way better. Like it would, they would have to be <laughs> emphatic about the changes <laughs> in a way that I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes even that's not enough. Like people have said that to me about Sea of Thieves, and I just still didn't manage to go back. Yeah. People keep saying that about Warframe. I'm starting Warframe's to buy it. Warframe's pretty good. Yeah. Warframe is. Wait, Dan, are you playing Warframe? <laughs> I started it, yeah. Huh. Warframe's pretty good until, like, I feel like there are weird walls in Warframe where you kind of don't know what you're doing anymore. And you're like, wait a minute. Like, especially if you take a break. Like, uh, I took a break and then, like, four patches happened. And I tried playing it again and I had no idea what the hell I was supposed to even do. I, I just find that it's very easy to just hop in and, like, the core gameplay is like, oh, yeah. fast and satisfying totally, enough that, yeah. like, it's, I don't really give a shit what I'm doing and just, like, put me somewhere and let me shoot stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely good for that. Like, I load it up and go, like, wait a minute, like, I think, I think this weapon is max level, so I probably shouldn't use it anymore because I should probably be leveling up a different gun and, oh, right. like, there's, like, progression stuff in that game is weird. Yeah. Oh, oh there's a lot of guys with shields here. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna smash him. Oh. Uh, don't forget to fly your balls back if you got them. Yep. Oh, I do. Where do I, where do I put them? Uh, there should be a, a highlighted spot on the map that you should see. Back near the beginning mm -hmm. of the level. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Trying to find more balls. Whoa, hello. Uh, you know, will they, the radar tell me where that is? Yeah. Uh, the, like, the radar the tells tell me where the next ball is. The float, yeah, the radar oh. points you to the collectibles. The floating objective is where you have to deposit them. Yep, I think I found it. I oh. not seeing any more balls. Uh, I've got uh, we have, I think uh, we have all the balls. I'm like practically outside yeah. of the mission area. Uh, all right, I'm flying back the last balls. <laughs> there's, you know, there's a roadmap out there. You can look at like the kind of story content they're promising for this game over the next few months. If you're curious about where it's going, although there's not a lot of detail there. Oh, something funky happening on the sky. Oops, sorry. Did you guys see the 2019 roadmap for Fallout 76 that came out today? Yeah, yeah I saw that. I like, didn't... That's just. This is video games now, right? Yep. Everybody's got their nicely gra graphic designed, mm -hmm. you know, annual roadmap for content. <laughs> I mean, it's good. You know, communicating with your player base, obviously. Oh, totally. Is yeah. important but just every game is an ongoing game now. Do you think there is a world in which Fallout 76 turns it around? I'm yeah, sure there will be some really people exists. that will have a okay time with that Okay, what, what game is declared <laughs> good first? Anthem or Fallout 76? Anthem. Anthem. Okay, yes, I think I would agree with you. If it makes it that far. If, like, the plug doesn't get pulled on it at some point. Yeah. But assuming that not both games stay up and running, and them. That thing dissolved into mist. Did any of you ever find any abilities that like are specifically designed to take down enemy shields? Uh, some of the storm abilities feel like they do, but yeah. I can't say for sure. Because so I feel just, like that's been just kind of like up here. on the the harder enemies or on, on the, the shielded enemies, I feel like I have to shoot to take down the shield and then mm. hit the abilities and then hit the combos and all that stuff. Yeah, I always use abilities to pop shields. Okay. You mean okay, like well, there's a reason the to, you know, I have some kind of class synergy then. Yeah. Because I don't think like I can do that. the shield bar, you mean? Yeah, the yeah, shield bar. Yeah. Shooting, yeah. shooting down shields takes forever from, from what I've seen. Eh. Well, I don't know. Yeah. It's, depends on the enemy, I guess, but... Uh, what a hassle. Okay, all right. There we go. Uh, so there's no, like, time limit on this, right? No. Like, no. Uh, strike? Okay. I defeated a Scar. Uh, so what, what class are you, Jeff? I'm the Ranger. Ranger, okay. And then there's, what's the fourth class? Uh, Interceptor. Interceptor, which I feel like I see the least of. Uh, I feel like I see more Interceptors than Colossuses. Uh, yeah, they're, they're about equal, I would say. Storm definitely seems to be the most common. Yeah. I don't know, the, the Colossus just seems so damn cool. Everybody likes the Hulkbuster suit in Iron Man. Yeah, like we were saying before, it definitely seems like it has the most unique playstyle. And it has two weapons that the other ones can't use. Yes. 
<laughs> which I am totally not using. Yeah. What is it, auto cannon and grenade launcher? Yeah. I think so. Oh no, I have fallen in a bad place. Oop. We can get out this way. You get any bonus for like skimming the ground? I guess you cool down a bit. Okay. Yeah, if you skim water, it'll stop you from overheating. Whoa. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah. Oh, somebody down. Okay. Yeah. I'll head over there. Is it bad about uh, like I don't I don't know what it looks like when somebody's down? Does it point you towards? The yeah, thing or? It, it, the thing pops up and says, move. "Get next to an enemy or get next to a friend and hold X to repair them." Oh, oh gotcha. There's a convenient thing with grenades in this game where they just hit. If you're aiming at a thing and you push the grenade button, the grenade almost always hits them, almost regardless of distance. Shit, it's like you uh, kind of don't, you don't ever really have to think to land grenade shots, which is... Are you talking about like a grenade launcher? Or? No, like I, my, I, my class ability is, is throw a grenade. Oh. Okay. And if I hold the button down, it'll pop like a little thing to say like, hey, here's where it's going to land, but I can just aim at an enemy and hit it and the grenade hits them. Uh, oh, that's wow. Cool. Like the, the aiming is, it's almost ridiculous how easy it is. Um, <laughs> and you can do that while flying? Yep. Uh, no. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll check. I know. I, I can do it while hovering. While hovering. Okay. When it, yeah, when no, it, it pops on. me into a hover when I do it. So, like, you can you can technically hit the button while you're flying, but you cannot fly and throw a grenade. Uh, come here, big guy. Smash. Oh, this evading locked on missile stuff is kind of cool. In what do like you a, do when that in like happens? A, in like a 90s It'd arcade be, game kind of way. If you hit, well, like if, what? I don't, maybe you can't do it. I don't, oh, when, I hit, when I hit B yeah, in the air, the, I do a barrel Yeah, wall. the Colossus doesn't have a, a dodge, so I don't actually know. Maybe you're supposed to throw <laughs> up your shield. <laughs> just throw this up your guy, shield. I'm just going to be kind of eat it? running and put my shield up. I guess that's all you can do. Hey, listen, that's all I need, all right? But, I mean, more stuff like that, like more stuff that leverages the height control of the flight mechanics and stuff would be very appreciated in this game. Damn it, I'm trying to get three before I drop them off. I haven't figured out how to open these cages. If the if there's no icon near the thing here, then you can't. Oh. Oh god, did my things just disappear? Why are they They changed the timeout on the balls? Oh, I didn't know they timed out! Like, cause I guess people were just getting the balls and then quitting or getting the, like, there was oh, some sucks. bugs around people hoarding balls and never turning them in. Oh, I like, okay. I mean, I guess I can see that being a problem, but... Yeah. I was trying to wait till I got three and my remaining two just disappeared. I wish it was better about pointing different members of a squad to different balls. Yeah. So that I'm not just, like, following you around yeah. as you get the balls before me. But now we... Use the the we melee a lot in your class? Yeah. Uh, you're in luck, because pretty soon in the story you will have to use it 50 times in a row. Oh. Well, not in a row. Have to? Well, not in a row, but I mean, you, it, you will yeah. need melee kills. You'll, you'll need 50 melee kills as part of that challenge. All right, now those cages have balls in them, and I don't know why we can't open them. Because huh. there's supposed to be a button prompt here that lets you open these cages. Ooh, look at all these guys over here. Whoa. Wow. Time to ult. He's dead. Ah! Picked up a thing. Oh, I, I just, I, okay. I killed the gatekeeper enemy. Yeah, oh, that picked, opened the okay. cages? Picked up the yeah. key he dropped. Yeah, yeah. And All right. now I can open these cages. I've never seen that before because somebody else, I yeah. guess, in my squads always did that. I wish this Colossus had a grapple. Oh, just like grab straight up grab enemies and throw yeah. them or whatever? Yeah. OK, 
Okay, you've got the last two? Yeah. Yeah, like the more the Colossus was like, you know, Cybernator or Assault Suit Falcon <laughs> or whatever, yeah. the better. I mean, it's like you've got the fun. shield, it's kind of like it a little bit. But. Yeah, like I'm, I'm just close combat the entire time anyway. So I just wish I could just grab guys and punch them. Yeah. You're saying these javelins should be a little more mecha? Yes. Yeah. You're saying they should be more like my Japanese animes? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, that was cool. You shot like ice out of your fingers yeah, or something. That's, yeah, that's what the storm does. <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah. We got this. Am I gonna get some sick loot for this thing? Chest. Oh wait, there's a treasure chest there. Yeah, you wanna come get it? Yeah, hell yeah, I want to. Oh, nice loot. Do we all get that stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What did I get? Weird. I wonder if it's because we're playing on normal. Yeah. And out because I'm just getting commons yeah. and uncommons. I only got commons out of that. Me too. And most of the drops I I've seen along the way have been shitty too. Un uncommon. Was I supposed to get like a rare? No, you're low level enough that you're probably only going to see uh, uncommons. Yeah, for... you guys are still in the common range, basically. Ooh. Common is a big fan of robot suits. Oh yeah. <laughs> I want somebody to activate my ultimate ability right now. Seems like a bad place for it, but what the hell? Am I missing something when you're flying from place to place? Like I, I, I hit my overheat limit way before I get where we're going. Yeah, me too. Are there water? Well, is that a waterfall? I guess I could veer out here. Yeah. Are you doing? It the, seems like, like just standing in water will do it too. Like the Mario cape flying, where you're going up yeah. and down. Yeah, well, standing at all will cool you down. But I'm trying to find ways to do it without stopping. Mm -hmm. If you, you can't, you supposedly cool off by diving. Yeah, that helps a little bit. But you need a lot of space to do that. Yeah. Common used to love hovering dive. in every respect. Of course. So, uh, so what's going on in this, uh... <laughs> the, the bugs, the bugs are making what's, what's acid the weapons. Okay. And we're here to stop them. They're smart bugs? Uh... Wait, is it the scars? I think the scars are leveraging the bug. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm from Buenos Aires, and I say kill them all. <laughs> Oh no, I'm going down a hole. I'm underwater. Oh. What? It no, warped I think us. I went to, uh, Brad yeah. went oh. ahead, and, and so we, oh, we all got warped. <laughs> now I'm the guy who flew ahead? Yep. Thanks. Yeah, sure. Look at these. Mm. Maybe you want to stick to the mission. <laughs> Play your class. Oh, right, this thing. Okay. I was really punching that egg for a long time. Mm. Yeah, so you guys haven't done this mission, right? Nope. No. You're, you're really you're really getting kind of a cross section of the anthem mission objectives here. Okay. There's fly around and get the glowing balls and drop them off. Done that. There now there is uh, pick up the relics that you can't fly while holding and drop those off. Later on, we'll oh, stand in a circle while a meter fills up. Yep. <laughs> that's the that's it's just like Thanksgiving. That's, yeah. the, that's the Trinity. Of mission objectives. Uh, where are these? Uh, I guess I'll just follow my radar. Yeah, they're down these tunnels where the blue icons are. And then you get them and bring them back to that central platform we were on. I got it. Why can't I fly? Is it like too heavy or it's is too heavy? An anthem mask thing. Okay. Doesn't look like I'm carrying it though. Is it on my person? Yeah, it's like on your hip. Oh man, these like um, shredder mobiles the, <laughs> from Ninja Turtles. With the mousers. Mousers? Is that what they were called? Yeah, mousers. Mousers. And come out. This would be 
way cooler if it was a Ninja Turtles game. <laughs> yes. Man, I'd play a Ninja Turtles loot game. Yes. But if the Ninja Turtles were in giant robot suits. Yeah. Clearly. Even better. Yes. In year two, they add a Casey Jones class. Oh, man. <laughs> Hi. Hmm. Hey, Dan. Hey. I feel like I got turned around somewhere. I'm going to not fly this way. Oh, yeah. Ah. Almost done. Only a few fragments left. Only that idiot Colossus would deliver his coming. I ran the wrong way. I I'm did gonna, it. I'm, I'm here. gonna hang out here in the middle. Hey, free lights up. While you guys get the rest of the relics. There's still one sitting there. I ran the wrong way and missed the platform up. What are these dopes doing? The AI, you guys mentioned the AI may, maybe is a little suspect. Yeah, it, doesn't, it seems pretty it's rough. Not, rough. It's, <laughs> not, it's not non-functional or broken, it just doesn't do much. Like Those guys were just standing, those two guys were just standing in a circ or yep. the circle I was punching them. It, sometimes it feels like almost like a Ooh. network thing of like they haven't activated yet and they die before you can kill them. I don't, uh -huh. I just, I don't know if that's the thing, if that's the bug or if the AI is just bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, hey, it works for me. I'll, yeah. I'll smash them all day. Hmm. Uh, someone Down, Dan? Yep. have the. Coming. Okay. Here Does someone go. have the other relic? Oh. Hey, yep. Okay. Did it. Thank you. That revives pretty fast. So you guys have to stand on this platform now, where we are? Uh, I'm fighting bugs. Okay. Okay, coming. And we, we need to the shoot, these, shoot these balls and ah. the bugs, but the balls will kill you more than the bugs oh. will, yeah. so... Okay, so shoot the ball. Oh, this isn't good for me. I'm kind of a punchy ah. thing going on. Well, maybe you punch the bugs <laughs> and we'll punch right, the balls. Alright, I'll try and punch the bugs. Oh boy. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop my ultimate ability and attract all these bugs to me. Any idea if I can hover above the field or does that break my... Uh, the... F uh, I don't know. Also, all oh, of you these... Oh, can't fly. These, these balls, yeah, these You're balls disrupt flight. Down. Okay. These bleeds? These yeah. bleeds right here. Oh, these bleeds. Does your health just come back on its own after a while? Yeah, you it does. To get, okay. You don't have to get the thing? Man, just overheat constantly. The health is like just slow enough that. Yeah, you know, you slow. usually want the pickups, but. There's a lot of bugs over here, but they're scared of me. So don't worry, they won't come this Up way. along. Okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh, I wanted to get there. I wanted to see. Oh. What if I if I leave the circle? Is that bad? Uh, it, it makes it take longer. Okay. So yes. It's taking quite a bit. Yep. Uh, also, enemies in the circle slow it down. I think. Oh. The ball. Shoot the ball. Okay. Rain bug. Okay. Oh, my ultimate's back already. there Got 
Attack me! I think you're out of the field. Please. I think I think when the bar is green, it means it's charging at full speed. Yeah. I think when it's is that white? Or is that blue? That's uh, white. <laughs> Whatever color it is now is the there are monsters Down. in the circle. Oh, okay. Color. Oh, it's not. Yeah. It's not that people need to get back in it. Where are you? Right. Where are you? On the thing. I want to get you. Oh yeah. I need ah. these points. We did it. Yes. I don't think our friend liked that. Yeah. yeah. I'm just getting started. Chest. Oh, yeah. Wait, so we finished the whole oh, thing? Oh, right, there's a chest up there. No, no, no. There's one more thing. Yeah, all that stuff is common. So I'm not even getting... I got uncommons. I want to equip it. I want to equip it now. <laughs> don't even get to know what it is. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> gotta go He's get Engrams. a... You gotta go get a scroll of identify first. Go see your man Deckard Cain. We just blow past all these bugs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, where did you guys go? I don't think I've ever successfully made it through this full tunnel without just getting warped to the boss. Same. I can't tell if I'm in the lead. I think I might be. Yeah, you are. Last night I was literally entering the boss chamber, like I was maybe, you know, yep. 50 feet behind my party or something, and it still yep. faded, faded to black. Yep. Loaded. Loaded me back into the same room I was already in. Uh-huh. It's good shit. It's just so restrictive. Don't transport me, I'm not a loser. Okay, I made it. Only a scorpion, but bigger. A lot bigger. You're not helping. How many boss fights are there? Um in, in this in this mission or in the game? In the game. Uh, oh. One. <laughs> <laughs> I mean this okay. is a boss. Yeah, two. Okay. Uh and maybe oh. maybe the other the the other one has a I'm trying to think like Boss is a weird thing, right? I mean, a lot of, like, there are plenty of missions that end in, hey, you're confronting one of the tougher enemies in the game, but it's still just like, here it's an Ash Titan, or here it's a Ascardi, or, you know, like, like, they're not necessarily unique. Uh, yeah, so this one, the final boss, and maybe that other stronghold has uh, a boss. I haven't seen it. I don't move. Does it make little things? Okay, it sure does. Cause I need some health. Oh. So this, this thing is making laser weapons? Acid weapons. Acid weapons. Okay. Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> okay. All right. I think it's being harvested just... by the Our, well, scar. Yeah, but the scars are smaller bugs who form into people-shaped bug things. Wow. That, that's cool. I like that. Go read. Go read the codex about the scars. They're like locusts that put on human clothes. That's cool. That's interesting. And actually, trying to get into R-rated movies. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> just want to see Terminator. <laughs> the collision when you're running with the shield is pretty good. Like, uh, nah, I got down. Ran into a spider web. Oh, you're right here. Hi. Yep, I'm right there. Hi. Hey, hey, Hi, hey. hello. Hey, I'm Thank repairing you. you. Terrific. I got it. Oh, ah. <laughs> just see, like, running around with this shield, just... <laughs> is there, like, a timer on the shield, or can you just keep it out? Nope. You just keep it out. <laughs> That's real silly. It's real silly. It's fun. Yeah. That sounds all right. Uh, it just feels like you're like juggernaut. Just yeah. Kind of it it sounds like very different from the rest of the stuff. I, it must be because 
Yeah. It's weird. I don't I don't shoot a lot. I suspect I'll shoot once I get better guns. Are you uh, just using abilities? I mean the guns the guns you have are kind of yeah, the guns don't really change. The guns. Okay. That's that's one of the things about the loot, you know. It just feels the shield thing is kind of powerful. It takes guys out in like two or three hits. So the nice thing is you kind of run over them, collect health, and just keep going. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, so like my melee does electric damage, and so that can be used for combos and stuff. I mean, oh, I, I I, I'm not hitting, hitting the boss. I'm just hitting these little guys. Yeah. I guess I should try and hit the boss once in a while. Yeah, he's out, so... Does he take more damage in the brain? Yeah, in the, yeah. Yeah, the soft parts. Oh, now he's down. I'm going to smash him. Oops. Overheat. I'm going to see if I can uh, fly on top. Oh, oh he, close. He, that was he, he, right he, in my mouth. Pops the... Ugh. <laughs> ugh. Why? It was right there. Mm. <laughs> so you can fly with the shield out, so you just can fly and try and ram things, which is also kind of fun. Uh, is that one of your guys' abilities? This kind of energy shield? No, that's a that's um. God, what is the term? Support ability, right? Oh, what's that mean? You may or may not. It's a it's a slot on your kind of loadout that you unlock after a few levels. Oh, sure. Okay. It's the yeah. it's the, the the when you hit both bumpers at the same time. That's what activates it. Wait, isn't that your ultimate? Uh, oh no, sorry. Hit up this is that. Up. Yeah. 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 It's so like the one I have on that is a bubble shield that when you're standing in it you do more damage and oh, then this is crap. dan's wind wall yes i've been confusing my ultimate with that yeah. ability i'm gonna try my ultimate out right now that is a lot different oh hello yeah okay so my support ability was the aggro thing my ultimate is some like super gun oh Oh wait, so you can play like arcade games on the TV? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work on um, these newfangled TVs though. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, they, they got new super Ow. guns for that. <laughs> I just want a new super gun that can handle oh, medium move. res, you know? It's dead. It's dead. Wait, you're dead dead? No, it's dead. It, oh, it's it dead, boss. okay. Mission ends in five Come seconds, on. make sure you get your loot. Where is it? Wait, run, around, run around in its corpse, there's there's no chest. No. It's just all in, it's hidden oh, got, under the character model. It. Great. I'm skinning it. <laughs> Hopefully you all got the loot, because I don't know if it gets mailed or not. Well, I, got, I got the loot. They extended that timer. I feel like it used to be two seconds. Yeah, the missions end really fast. Oh, man, I really need a different ability. I feel like such a... You guys are already ha halfway through the mission report screen, because I'm running off hard drive here. Hey, how's my mech look? Does it look cool on your screen? It looks pretty good. Feels, it looks, feels I like your cool. big single glowing eye. <laughs> yeah, so do I. It's very it's, Gundam. It's kind of evil. Zaku. Yeah, I, I didn't get a single rare. Uh, I got some rares, but I'm at a point where most rares are useless too. I wonder if it's like averaging the loot based on the total makeup of the party or something <gasps> like that. I don't know. Or maybe like you know, like that stronghold on normal is useless at some point. Or maybe like, yeah, maybe we're just past it. Like I, I'm getting plenty of rares out of the story missions at this point. Yeah. I unlocked the javelin. Oh. Oh. That, that's pretty fast. Maybe because I was doing that stuff with you guys. Okay. Yeah. Well, it, it's you, you level pretty quickly. I mean, even because even the story missions are with other players. Yeah. Uh, mm. So, for sure, even if I were to launch base straight from here, we would not go in together. That is what Jason said, and he has been playing it with friends. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll try hit launch it. Bay with you. Yeah, I'll let's all hit X and see what happens. Well, I got all the right. launch. I got the matchmaking thing even here. Wow! 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 A didgeridoo. 
I like the title screen music of this game. Seems to use a talk box if you if you let it play long enough. Hmm. Mm, I think I'm loading still. Yeah, I am too. Same. Did they lower the level of the first javelin unlock? It says new javelins unlock at level two. No, it was always well. That's your first one. Oh, okay. and you hit. I I, I know this because I played through the intro on PS4 last night. But you, you basically come out of the tutorial missions hitting level two. Right. And that's when yeah, they yeah, let you pick your first choice. Pick your first okay. one. Yeah. No, I'm Aww. I'm not in here with y'all. Yeah. I'm, I'm in here with a bunch of strangers. This, this is frightening and this, terrible. This whole online area just seems so tacked on. I mean, they. I think they flat out said they added it late in development. Based, yeah. Based on like, people, shows. people, people requesting a social space. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, but I want to be social with you guys. Right. Yeah. Like, what did you the, get there? What's that? How did you get there? It's the it's the uh, not Fort Tarsus. The what's it called? The, uh, the launch, launch bay. Option? Launch bay. Launch bay. Oh, I don't know if I have that. It was from the menu, Dan. I don't know. It, you can run to it. It's um. You know what? I don't I think it unlocks it. until you hit. Oh uh, yeah, a it is level. Yes, it, it is a later uh, a later unlock. So yeah. You may not even I probably have don't it. have it. Um, are you gonna do another mission? Uh, I see you're ready up. We're probably good. Got another okay. stream to prep for in an hour here. You don't want to try out that sweet Colossus? Uh, I, I, don't I mean, if, if you want to just like load into free play really fast and just fly around for a second. How do I do that? Uh, can I do it from here? Oh, start an expedition? Uh, I think I would have to do it. Okay. Well, you would have to change. I'm gonna hit the forge button. And see what happens. Oh wait. Yeah, it does. Load well, when you're in, in a group, you can just hold Y to start an expedition, which is like. A pretty dramatic difference from when you're not. If you're not playing with friends, you have to always run to the suit to start a mission. You always have to run to a door to start right. a mission. Like being able to pull up this menu from anywhere seems like that's how it should be. Wherever you are in the game, like having to run all like or mosey. You don't run in town. Uh, you you lope, <laughs> and having to like lope your way across town just to start yeah. a mission really not good. Not good. Uh, what's this the one you said you haven't seen a lot? The, the heavy robot. The interceptor. interceptor seems like the one that doesn't. Yeah, I'm going to unlock that one oh, wow. and, and try that's, it out. Wow, that's, wanna... com that's commitment. <laughs> uh, it's, it's okay. I'll survive. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so I've got a I've got free play queued up if you just want to hop in real fast. Sure. Uh, the interceptor yeah. oh, is, look at this. is kind of like a robot. It's kind of a melee class. Like you can combo its melee attack. Oh, I'm like a rogue. Just, just like hammer on the button and do a bunch of sword attacks and stuff. So what is the thing that you can't change once you select? Because I thought there was something that you're locked in once you Well, you just, pick. you're stuck with whatever javelins you have once you pick them. Like, like your first javelin, you're stuck with it until you hit level, what is it, eight? Yeah. So is, yeah. And so since Vinny is there, he's able to just switch around now? Well, mm -hmm. only oh, between okay. the two he has unlocked. Yeah, only so. between the ones you have unlocked already. So The last unlock is at yeah. level 26, and so at that point you'll have all four of the suits. Yep. Okay, I see. Uh, you guys want to ready up real fast? Sorry, the suit had nothing on it. So oh, that's I'm fine. Just trying to drop a, a thing or two on here. Shield reinforcement sounds fine. Yeah, sure, rifle ammo. That sounds like a thing. I didn't equip anything. So Benny can go back to his Colossus. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. gotcha. That's what I did. Like I, I played the Colossus for one mission and then went straight back to the storm. Oh. Okay. Because you're only getting drops for the class that you're playing. So if you like the, if you like one class, it doesn't really make sense not to play it. But no, well, so the, the, the weapon, thing, the thing I'd say counter to that is that you get so many crafting materials that as long yeah, as you have the true. blueprints, yeah. uh, well, I don't. It, it doesn't ma matter because you can just craft a full set. Yeah, of, you, you can. You can actually, if you're gonna, I'm gonna run back to the forge real fast. And just through doing the missions, you will eventually hit like level two with each faction. Yeah, you'll, and you, yeah. so you'll be able to craft like. Rares That's fair. for min mo or uncommons or rares, I think, for I, most know, stuff. Since, since this is the quick look, I'll just do that real fast. Oh, it's uh, such a cool look. Yeah. Game. Okay. So I can Let's I can see. craft a. I mean, granted, it's a common. But, right. But I can I can craft a. That's the one I have on. I can craft kind of a baseline uh, version of a weapon at my level, so I at least have stuff to play with. Yeah, when I was switching around suits and stuff, it you know it didn't seem like it was ever a hindrance. Yeah, because uh, none of the loot felt great anyway. So, 
missing out on loot for one class just meant like, oh, well, I'll go run one mission with that class and get enough mm -hmm. drops. Right. To, yeah, you, you get stuff pretty quick. To I fill mean, in the gap. I yeah, think, it's, not, it's not that big a deal. I think, Brad, you, you might be able to select if you go to try and craft that again or go back to that craft menu. I uh, think you can actually select the rarity of oh, it. Oh, crap. Did I totally craft. miss that? Well, you have to unlock the rarities. So if it... Oh, oh yeah, 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 I can. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I'm not I'm not ranked up with those factions yet. Yeah. Oh. It'll okay, it'll default that. to your highest rarity yeah, available, right. and you can always step it back if you want to spend less resources or, or whatever. I'm just gonna slap whatever. How is that not just the coolest looking suit in the game? I mean, look at you. It's pretty good. You look, it's not great. Bad. Sure. It's great. I'm just, I'm I don't even, you don't look like some silly ninja robot. You're oh. like a you're like a big old sure. slap together mech, ready to fall apart. I'm not even reading the stuff. Just. Get whatever I can. Uh, all right, good. A lurker. <laughs> That's a good name for a gun. I assume I assume grenade launcher and uh, auto cannon don't drop unless you're playing one of these. Yeah. I started with one, so I'm probably never, like a level one. Yeah, I kind of I, eh, I want to see what they're like, but I only have. To try it, it is a long spin up on that auto cannon. Oh, where did I get this? I don't remember. How do I have a rare crafting blueprint? Uh, you will also get some of them occasionally from huh. other missions and challenges and stuff. Oh. They aren't all tied to the faction rep. Maybe it's that, because I, yeah, I, I have not ranked with those factions very much. Autocannon, let me just make one. Sure. I, I, I want to say, I could be wrong, you should check it out. I haven't used the autocannon in a bit. But uh, I want to say it might be one of those things you can keep it spinning. Um, by like holding the trigger down halfway. Huh. Hmm. I, I don't know if that's true. You should, you should try it. It's because it does have a pretty long wind up. Oh, grenade launcher. All right. All right. I'm excited to try this. Loading screens. Very lithe robot yep. suit. Uh, I can't remember what else that thing does. I only, uh, well. Cool. Perhaps we're done here? <laughs> Great. I thought that was a strangely placed live or uh, load screen. I got bumped back to the menu. Or back to the title uh, screen. Mm. And with, now I am the leader. With with an error retrieving something. Hey, we found out how to change the party leader. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good job. She has DDoS me. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I can't get to the social menu from here, huh? Uh, do I want to rejoin that? Well, nope. Uh, it, it looks like you came right back in. That's yeah. good, at least. Yeah, I just accepted Jeff's invite, and it seems like it got me back in. All right. Uh, so it, we're trying to do free play, right? Yeah, just for just for a minute. It will let you rejoin a session that you bombed out of when you restart the game. Although I've seen people say that is a little unstable sometimes. Yeah, I've I've had it say, "Hey, you have a session," and then hit go on it, and then it doesn't actually do it. Waiting on you. I see your loading screen, your Iron Man face. Mm -hmm. Bad looking loading screen. <laughs> you don't like it? No, it's just a bunch of triangles, you really. Love triangles. Yeah. <laughs> Tri triangles didn't exist. The screen would not exist. I'm more of a trapezoid easy. guy. I've always been a trapezoid mm. guy. Any rhombus fans here? Eh. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the control room's going oh, yeah. nuts. Oh, man. <laughs> Isn't there like a isn't there a Pokemon that's like Porygon? Is that a Yeah, that's one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah holy All shit. Right, yeah. We're gonna kill Jan. Quit saying stuff he likes. <laughs> Becky Lynch. Mm -hmm. Okay, there. Yeah. Garchomp. I have been booted again. No. no. Okay. No. I'm gonna say nope. All right. Well that's Anthem. That's the end of our anthem board. quick look then. What? Alright. I can't right. I can't get back in. I, I it's Kick me out twice with this error retrieving life service data. Well, so um, you know what? I'm happy we, we made it this far. Yeah. That was definitely more fun playing with other people. Yeah. As is usually the case. Yes. Um, but, but yeah, this game seems weird. It, it's a it's a, a weird game. Yes. You'll have uh, to just fill you'll fill me in on your Colossus. Uh, yes, I will let you know. Later. I'm cur I'll, I'm curious to see what you guys think of that that class. I, I think it's kind of fun. I'll stomp I around a little bit. I have less fun when I'm not stomping around and shooting, so <laughs> sure. I'm curious to see if, if you guys think it's any better. I or can not. see that. Um, 
Yeah, it, it right. sounds like there's not much to do after you beat this game other than kind of play the same content at higher difficulties. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the, the any side missions that you haven't completed, you can, of course, go do. Right. And then it's like you can quick play into other people's missions. So you're kind of helping them fill out their squads uh, and then run those strongholds. And that kind of seems like yeah. it. Play the Grandmaster difficulties. The, uh, let me pull up the challenge. We can't, we'll not be able to see it, I don't think, but I can at least. Uh, uh, he's, he's got your. Oh, he does? Game. Okay. Uh, no, that's not. Uh, oh, th he's... Okay, Challenge of Valor is a thing that unlocks when you beat the game. Uh -huh. And it's literally like, do a hundred events! Yikes. And you'll get a graphic. Like, this is the thing that unlocks when you beat the game. Mm. Like, hey, grind it out, I guess. Here's something for you continuing to play the game, even though you've seen most of the content. It's... Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I don't know, the whole thing feels thin. This game, yeah, this game needs more. Obviously, they are committed to adding stuff. But I hope that, you know, they also make way more fundamental changes to yeah. just the game. So I, I think that Me there, too. There I mean, are just a lot of issues with just like, you know, like there are unique weapons that are the masterwork, the highest tier of, of like rarity or whatever, but you don't see any of them during the campaign because they're all like end game things. So instead it's just like, here's the 20 guns and you'll level them up, but they're all pretty much identical. Uh, that's just, it's, they made a lot of really bizarre choices that I think make the game worse. Yeah. So, you know, some of that stuff is fixable. I hope they fix it. I mean, you know, it, it's practically part of the life cycle of a loot game at this point to get reworked. Yeah. At some point, so I, I hope they... All right, hear me out. Put more into it. Real money auction house. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, maybe not. Okay, fine. All right. Anthem. It's out now. Anthem. 